they've been instructed to teach you adverb verb so you can be harvested you'll work very hard as a slave accumulate your values and then somebody will file a lawsuit against you and you'll walk right into a court now all courts on planet earth are foreign vessels and dry dock we live here in Hawaii, but when we walk into a courthouse, we have left Hawaii and we go into a foreign vessel that only uses fiction, adjective pronouns. They're going to make your name into an adjective pronoun, and they'll ask you four words. What is your name? Adverb, verb, adverb, verb. They're calling you a verb in this case. And if you answer, and you go ahead, you're traversing with the condition of a fiction. You're identifying yourself to be a fiction. And what they'll also do is they'll take a document and they'll capitalize your name on it in all uppercase speak, all uppercase spelling. Now, uppercase spelling means you are a nom de guerre dead person. Unique thing is, go to any cemetery on planet Earth and everybody's name on the tombstone is written in uppercase. It means you're dead. If you're a dead person, under international maritime law, you cannot own property or write contracts. Well, you can't write contracts, you can't own anything. So I guess you're just a servant or in slavery to somebody else that is very clever. But because the teachers didn't teach you how to read and write in school, and we have certified the fact that just about everyone on this planet has a second grade reading level. What's the difference between the phrase, see the ball in your first grade reader, see is a pronoun, the is an adverb making ball a verb. You know, ball is not a verb, it's a condition of state. It's supposed to be used as a fact for the sight of the ball, is what it should read. But it says, see the ball, and you accept that. If you're only one years old, you don't know any better. And then you see the word state of Hawaii, state of California, state of Nevada. It doesn't matter which state it is you're looking at. State is a pronoun, up is an adverb, modifying the verb of your state. How does the state verb sue somebody? or to say the people of Wisconsin. The is an adverb making people a verb, of is an adverb making Wisconsin a verb. I come from Wisconsin, that's where I was born. So the individual was brainwashed. Do you know that English teachers, everywhere we've gone, all over the United States and in foreign countries, or I'll rephrase that, grammar teachers. When they are presented with a correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, they get very scared, they walk away. If the student produces the correct parse syntax grammar in front of them, they suspend them from school, send them home. Don't allow them to interface with the other students because they would contaminate the world of fiction. Because the fiction has to protect the lies that have been told for 8,500 years.